Dr. Anne Ramoyne now, professor of epidemiology at the UCLA School of Public Health. Doctor, thank you. This variant, the Delta variant, fast spreading. Right now, it accounts for roughly one of every five new COVID cases in the U.S., according to the CDC. Dr. Fauci calls it the single greatest threat to ending the pandemic. Here's the question. Do you expect cases to rise again in the months ahead, particularly in the fall? Absolutely. You know, all we have to do is to look and see what's happening in Europe right now, where we have many countries where we have high rates of vaccination and we're starting to see increasing cases. We're seeing the same phenomenon here, right here in the United States. Just a week or so ago, we only recounted for 10 percent of all cases that we were seeing. Now we're at 20 percent. Uh, and we know that this particular virus, this variant, is much more transmissible than the variant that has been dominant here, that alpha variant, It was, which was already 50 percent more infectious than the original strain that was circulating. This variant, the Delta variant, is 60 percent more infectious than the alpha variant. So that just shows you that if you have the same contact with somebody that you had previously who has COVID and you're not vaccinated, you are at substantial risk of getting infected. It's much, it's a much more serious game now. And we're also seeing some of the data suggesting that this, you may have more severe symptoms that could re result in more hospitalization. So really important to keep an eye on this, to get as many people vaccinated so we can build as much immunity as possible, get in front of this. You, you know, the president's already said no, no widespread lockdowns. But I look at my home state of Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, and some others with very low vaccination rates, comparatively speaking. And I guess my question for you is, could there be regional lockdowns? Are, are, are you concerned that it may get so bad in those low vaccination areas where that might happen? Well, you know, it really is going to depend upon how we do. I, I'm pretty sure we're not going to go back into lockdowns. Um, but what we are going to see is in these populations where we see low rates of vaccination, we're going to see a lot of cases. We're seeing this right now in places like Colorado, where we're replaying some of the same scenes we saw before in places like Mesa, Colorado. They're seeing very, um, very high rates of, of transmission, hospitals being overwhelmed, low availability in ICUs. We don't want to see that in, in no. even in pockets here in the United States. So what's happening is it's going to be those people who are vaccinated are not likely to get sick or to, to be hospitalized. And those people who are not vaccinated, and there are lots of states, like you said, where you have these big pockets of people not vaccinated and the virus is going to find those people. It's going to run through them quickly. And we're yeah. going to see a lot of unnecessary illness and death. You mentioned Delta is so much more contagious than these other strains. But there are new concerns. It may actually lead to more severe, severe illness. Do we know, or are we sure how well the vaccines work against this variant and will over time? So Public Health England has recently uh, released some data showing that this, in, in a place where we're seeing the, the Delta variant so, um, so widespread, so ubiquitous, that the Pfizer vaccine is doing a fantastic job at holding up against it. And we expect that the Moderna vaccine is doing the same. Uh, you know, the thing is, is you need to have two doses of these mRNA vaccines to have the kind of protection that we want to have. If you don't have two doses, there's a substantial decrease in the effectiveness. So our best bet is to get fully vaccinated so that we're well protected against these strains. Plenty of shots. Go get them. Dr. Ramoyne, all the best. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.